<coughs> oh, sorry. I just had a full bottle of fizzy water. Interferes with my neck tubing. So some of you know, I live on a river. Not literally, I mean, my house backs onto a river. And in this so-called river, you tend to find exotic birds, idiots on rafts. And one of those idiots has brought a toy boat, which is actually pretty quick. And today I'm gonna to quickly unbox it and then we're gonna take it out for a run. Now, obviously I've forgotten the most vital ingredient uh, for a Toby's RC's unboxing, running down the garden path like a prick with a big box in my hands. <laughs> Now we've got that sorted, let's get this thing open. Oh, there we go. Cool, I'm liking this thing, guys. It looks pretty cool. It's got a little charger. It looks fairly nice. On the website, on Model Sport, it actually looked red but it's more an orange colour to be honest, but let's take this off, have a look inside. So it's water cooled, my little servo there, that is a really small one actually. Got an little XT60 connector there, brushless motor, that feels very nice. Here we've got the remote, it is quite light to be honest, as long as the range is good, um, yeah I'll be happy with that. Right guys, so we're going to go for a first run with it, I'm going to go up there a little way because it's a little bit wider. God, it said on the box, I think 40 miles an hour. <laughs> oh. uh. Crashed into the tree. If you're wondering what all this is, guys, this has all flowed from down the river. All of this came, we've had a bit of a storm here and yeah, it's all come down. Go up, round, through here, yes! Alright, let's give this chicane another go. I'm gonna go the other way this time. It's going round there perfectly. Let's try and get the remote in the screen so you can see how much I'm giving it. Oh, then he crashed it. <laughs> oh! God, I got soaked then. Oh no! Oh my God, it's wedged. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on. Steering stopped. What is going on here? Oh, I think the servo's packed up. Actually, I think the servo horn might have stripped or something. So it does actually steer both ways. I have to take that apart and find out what's going on. Who are wondering what this little red thing is? This came off of my outcast. I just popped it under there because it just, the servo felt a bit loose out of the box. So I just popped that under there, cushions it out a bit. <laughs> So I just brought it back to have a look at the servo and a hell of a lot of water I just had to empty out of this thing. I mean, I know it obviously gets a little bit of water in there, but with the water cooling system, but all of that there's had to be emptied out and um, I don't think it's actually still empty. And all around here is wet, all around the seal. So I think it's actually been leaking where the roof goes on. that either of these are stripped so it could possibly be a gear inside just plug it in see if it works
it doesn't steer that way. Nothing. And it works that way. Oh, it's starting to smell a bit. And a bit warm. Oh my god! It's gone mental. So guys, just had another look at it off a of camera and things just keep getting worse, to be honest. So as well as leaking through all the roof here, this has literally been pumping water into the back when it's turning. I just can't believe how much water's got in there. It's really not good. And as a result of that, it's not only the server that's died, the receiver has as well. It's got all green stuff coming out of it. It's clearly completely had it. So both the servo and the receiver. So I'm gonna have a little chat with Model Sport. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Did wanna make it a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, didn't quite go to plan. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like. And I'll see you next time.